are. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, what? I, are you putting you into the door? I thought the place was deserted. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I guess I didn't hear you. Hmm. That's okay. I guess not. <laughs> what, what are you looking No, uh, my life, I guess. Big part of it. The best part. Well, I would hope that the best part is yet to come. <laughs> Look at this. Three musketeers, huh? You miss that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Somehow life was less complicated with all that danger. Huh? Always felt like you had control of something. But now it... Oh, forget it. I, I was just thinking about Anna, that's all. That's... It's okay, honey. We've all been thinking about Anna. Mm. But hey, she's gonna be great. She's tough. She's tough. She survived the two of you, didn't she? What do you mean she survived the two yeah. of us? There were she... times we couldn't keep up with her. Really? Well, there you go. You see? She's gonna pull out of this. She will. Yeah, the point is, why should she have to? It's not her job anymore. I mean, when we were with the WSB, yes, but, but not now. And what is it with ex-WSB agents? We seem to never shy away from danger. We walk right into it. Oh, come on, don't say that, Sean. Oh, it's true. It's, it's not. I'm not going to let you do that. I won't accept that. Now, come on. The only danger that you're going to have in your life from now on is me. I'm dangerous. Mm. I'm dangerous. Oh. Oh. Yeah, listen, uh, tell me um, the minute there's any change. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Well, how can I help you? Oh, who's that? As a hospital. How's Anna? Much the same. Unconscious, high fever, and they're still not sure what's causing you. Well, what can I do for you? No, I'm wondering what I can do for you. Well, I'm hoping that sketch of Duke's little buddy's finished. It's almost. This artist's still working on it. Problem? Uh, no, it's actually a problem for you, a real big one. Commissioner Case. Well, look, I haven't called him, but I, I will, I promise. <sighs> look, uh, <laughs> you don't have to call him. He's already here. What? Yeah, in fact, he was here before, too, and he's not happy. What's his problem? You. Scorpio, time for you and me to have a little chat. Give me a few more minutes. See, I really wish I could, but I don't have any authority here because I'm only filling in. I've broken the rules already. Look at her. She's burning up. Why won't the antibiotics work? The doctors are trying to find out. Well, they've got to do more than that. Well, they can't prescribe anything specific until they get the tests. That's all I hear around here. Tests, tests. That's because they have to determine what kind of infection it is. How long will it take? That depends. Meanwhile, she's just lying here on fire. Look at her, Amy. There's going to be something that you can do. Well, we're doing everything we can, but you have to understand, we're waiting for the results, and that could be several hours. How many more hours do you think she has left? what I came here to talk to you about, to give you a little speech about today, was a vacation. <laughs> Why, are you getting some kind of award or something? <sighs> Maybe you're my award since you came back. Yeah, I can't stay away from you. Mm. 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 You know, you could have been killed. Would you, you know about my nine lives, I don't huh? hear about your nine lives. I care about your life with me. Mm. I was so worried. I was so worried. You and Robert go tracing off after somebody insane like that. I mean, those bullets could have killed you. They could have killed Robert. They could have killed Anna. I'm so glad you're back. Is this part of your speech? No, but it's the reason that I'm telling you. Since when do you have to rehearse what you have to say to me, huh? Since I realized how wonderful it is to have you home safe with me and how much I want you and I need you. Listen to that kind of speech as long as you want me to. Mm, wait, there's more, okay? There's more. Mm. 
Oh, I, I like this better. You like this better? Mm. <laughs> well, you know, if we keep this up, I am um, going to forget what I wanted to say. Oh, just sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Okay. Now, I'm a great audience, so you go on with your performance here, aren't you? Okay. okay. Oh, boy, you had me so rattled. What was I going to say? Well, I can tell you. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. 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 You sit, you sit. Okay, I'll you sit. You sit down, you sit All down, right. and you relax. Okay. Now you close your eyes. Close my eyes. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. I want you to imagine a beautiful ocean in the background. Mm -hmm. And these huge waves mm -hmm. resting and breaking mm -hmm. before they wash over the white sandy beaches, miles and miles of white sandy beaches. Ooh, I like this. Good. Now I want you to imagine the same beach mm -hmm. in the moonlight. Mm -hmm. And you've got this soft tropical breeze mm -hmm. blowing in your face. You go into the ocean mm -hmm. and you feel the warm water caressing your naked body at midnight. What am I doing in there alone? Oh, you're not alone. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're with somebody who loves you very much. Oh, it's much better. Please, don't stop. Please. Mm -hmm. Time will stop, though. All time mm -hmm. will stop. You'll have no more reality to stop. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have your choice of paradise. Mm -hmm. Paradise. A lush, tropical island of your choice. Mm -hmm. No more work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Poor Charles. Mm. Just sun and fun in the daytime and mm -hmm. champagne and mm. whatever else we can think to do in the moonlight. What mm. do you think about a vacation like that, my darling? Well, I think I deserve it. I oh, really oh, deserve I think it. You do too. That is probably mm. the most sensational and selfish idea I've ever long to Ooh, I'm glad you like it. Mm. Mm. However, sweetheart, there's one problem. One problem. One problem. What? Yeah, who, would, who would do this with me? Who would do I this mean, with I, 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 an island is no place to be alone. There's no fun in it. That's true. Now, I want you thinking on this. Yeah. And who would actually do a thing like this with me? Hmm. I mean, you're great. Well, it would be great for Robert, but not now. No. I mean, he wouldn't want to leave his job. He wouldn't no. want to leave Anna. No. And actually, this kind of setting really deserves female companionship, but who? I agree. I agree. But who? Ah. No, honey, you've got I'm me so excited about oh. this whole thing. I, oh. I just don't know who's free. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. As soon as I think of somebody, I'll let you know. No, 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 no. no come on. Come on now. Be serious. We have to plan this thing. You have to plan this? You mm -hmm. can plan your own vacation. You mean our vacation? Our vacation? Mm -hmm. Well, Sean Donnelly. Honey, I was only teasing you. You were teasing you. No, I would Ooh. never go Ooh. anywhere without you. Ooh, hmm. Well, I'm not so sure I want to go with you, though. Break my heart. Oh, break your heart. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means you want to go with me. Do you want to go with me? Do you, do you, do you? Of course I want to go with you. Good. After all that snow mm -hmm. I've been through, a bit of sunshine is exactly what I need, what we both need. Mm -hmm. I can hardly wait. I'm on my way right now. Whoa, whoa. What? You what? didn't specify when. Well, as soon as possible, don't you think? Yeah, but I, honey, look at this desk. Look at oh, all this work. I, I, I don't think this is the right time. I didn't mean this very second, sweetheart. Uh, we'll wait until we know that Anna's out of the woods. Don't you agree with that? Absolutely. I mean, look, she's not going to need you when she comes back here, right? Right. And she only wanted you to just fill in, you know, filling in for Robert, right? And, Definitely. And he's at the police station. He's not going to need you there, right? That's true. You're free as a bird. To do what? To do what? Are you kidding? With all that quarter main money that Herbert made for you, honey, you can do whatever you want to. You can retire. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like that word. Oh, okay. Well, then you can uh, lead a gentlemanly, leisureous life. How's that? You like the better? <laughs> the life of leisure, gentlemen? Isn't, what? Isn't that the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. You know what it is. You have been James Bond too long. You've been James Bond. <laughs> And truly, you know, you love these seedy little cases you work on here at their heart, these death-threatening situations. Nothing would make me happier than for you to give these up. But right now, I want you to concentrate on one thing only, and that is our vacation together. Mm. Okay? Yeah. yeah. I want to do that, but after it's over, I... Oh, why is it going to be over? It doesn't have to ever be over. We may decide that we want to hop from island to island for the rest of our lives. Now, I'll get brochures, I'll find the whole thing, I can do it. I'll be back, I'll be back. We're gonna love it, we're gonna love it. Oh, put it 
Putnam business in my written report, of course. So, any questions? One. And I'm hoping you have a good answer. What is it? Well, earlier, when you were just getting started on your search for Anna, you and I had a meeting. As I recall, I cautioned you against devoting all of your attention, all of your department's manpower and resources to one case. I remember that well. So what's the question? Why didn't you listen? I did. If that's true, then you ignored my caution, as well as every other request that's come out of my office since. So, this is only a portion of it. You'll find everything there from requests for assistance in local murders to statewide cooperation with other departments. There's a request from New York City for information regarding possible shipment of illegal liquor to Port Charles. Now, I hate to say this, but you've come dangerously close to neglecting every one of these requests. Certainly, you've paid no personal attention to them. I, uh, I won't deny the fact that I allowed the divine kidnapping to take priority. But I felt, as a former officer, this department owed her that. On another level, we had the fact that she was an ex-WSB agent, and I felt that it wouldn't look good if she fell into the wrong hands. You don't have to spell out the wider implications or your obligation to them. I'm fully aware of them. I want you to be equally aware of your responsibilities and obligations to this city. Do you have any doubt that I am? Well, I don't want anyone to think that uh, you'd put personal concern before community well-being. Now, I asked you to take this position, and I don't want it to backfire. And I don't want you to use us either. I haven't used anyone. I've done my job. I've done it well. I solved the case. Now, I may not have done the job the way you wanted me to, but I've done it. I realize now that the only reason you accepted the job was that it put you in a better position to look for Anna. That was one reason. Well, at least you have the good grace not to deny I said one reason. It was the one that made me make the decision. So, now that you've succeeded, all of these other cases can be somebody else's headache. Is that right? This is my department. These are my cases. And I'll get to them. Now, with all due respect, Commissioner, I've stood here and accepted the reprimand acknowledging that, yes, I allowed the Devane case to take priority. But I've solved that. And I'm back. And now I will look after the other matters. Then you intend to stay on? I most certainly do. I'm glad. So am I. I wasn't sure you'd want to stay in uh, Port Charles. It's my home now. I have family here. <laughs>